first is to give a shout out, granted a late shout out, to ASMR Day, which was the ninth. I was aware of it, <laughs> though I didn't make a video. I made a video a little afterwards, but not about the holiday or the recognized day, I suppose. Um, and I'm not entirely sure why, I just... I would like to give the excuse that I'm busy, but I procrastinate on everything else to be... I, pro I procrastinate far too much on everything else to be considered busy, so... I don't know. I guess someone will have to think of an excuse for me. spiritual sabbatical for teens in a YMCA place uh, in the mountains here. I live in the mountains. <laughs> um, and uh, someone there who was watching over the, the proceedings of that four days or so um, they'd had brought their laptop with them and someone had sent them an mp3 of something called holophon holophonic sound 3d sound basically and I suppose it was fairly new in 2009 or maybe not but most of us had never heard of it and it was uh, it was of matches I remember we all were like passing around headphones and he's like showing it to us. 
and um, oh, that was really weird. I don't think I got ASMR from that. It was too different, I suppose. Um, but anyway, a year ago, I was remembering back to that. And, uh, I, um, I was searching for holophonic sound, for 3D sound. And, um, I uh, was watching a lot of videos, there's some really cool things on just holophonic sound that have nothing, nothing to do with ASMR triggers. Um, but in the extended search uh, for various videos, there was one particular video, again of matches, I think, and at the end of the video, there was an in-comment pop-up that the poster of the video had left, and it said something like, do you, do you get head tingles from this? You might have ASMR. And to be honest, I'm not sure if I was experiencing it or not. It wasn't, again, it wasn't my focus. Um, but I'm like, what's ASMR? Because in this journey of looking through the videos, every once in a while in one of the recommended videos, ASMR would pop up. I think it's because about a year ago is when a lot of people were really trying to step in to using holophonics and binaural equipment with their ASMR creations, I suppose. <laughs> and, um, Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh. <laughs> so I typed in ASMR in both YouTube and um, a various search engine. I think I was reading a little bit on it, I can't really remember. But the first video that popped up or that I managed to click on was visual sounds I pull up the video visual sounds request number 13 fabric and carpet scratching um and then I watched pretty much her videos like her videos for the rest of the night, watching them over and over again. Um, I think I remember, I remember feeling like a little weird at first about it because these were her earlier videos and you don't see her face, it's just her hands and she has really graceful hands, but it's kind of an odd thing when you've just come into it and she's just like scratching things. And I remember I watched that video and I'm like, there's something to this. I don't know why, but I want to watch more. And then she did a little series right in the beginning, about a year ago, and I watched that, and it was like sounds of the house, sounds around the house, and it was sounds of the bathroom that caught my attention. And that's the one I watched for the rest of the evening till about five in the morning, basically. It was like a real high. <laughs> that's that's for true. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure how much to say without sounding odd. You know, when you start trying to talk to yourself into a microphone at one in the morning, everything you say starts to sound a little funny. Uh, but anyway, I remember falling asleep and waking up the next morning and everything felt kind of fresh. I mean, it was spring too, late April, and everything was kind of fresh anyway, and that was sort of the theme for everything, but that sort of introduction into this sort of bizarre little peaceful world where people said very little and very quietly and just kind of... Um, 
uh, played with things. There was something very tangible about it, and it was really exciting and wonderful and beautiful, really. That was a year ago, almost to the day. Um, it's been really wonderful, I think. And most people would attest to that or trying to stick around the community. Um, I don't know, it's just so wonderful now that I think of it as like a whole. In the beginning, I wasn't, in the beginning I didn't try to make videos. Um, I think it was about four months in that I'd really tried and I'm not quite sure why I wanted to so early on. Because even now, I'm not really going so much for in the mainstream, I suppose. Um, sometimes it doesn't even feel like I'm making ASMR videos. <laughs> but, uh... I had a typology blog that I was working on in the beginning. And that, like, took up a lot of the ambition. But my first ASMR channel was Euphoric Symphony. And don't go looking for it because it's gone. Um, because everything was horrible. Um, the second channel was Triggered Sketch. It's still out there, but it's stupid. Um, and that the idea behind that was to create ASMR through drawing, which isn't a new idea. And neither is through music, but six months ago I was having a conversation with someone and I asked them what they thought ASMR would be like if it was created into music and not necessarily music with ASMR triggers over it which is kind of what I do but rather the triggers are the music and that was the initial goal of this channel and so that's where this comes from uh, all that rambling to say here I am and thank you uh, I'm never quite sure who's out there but it's been really awesome that I want to shout out to are Kiraline or Cyrilline, I don't know how to pronounce it, that word. Cyrilline, Kiraline ASMR and Morgus, Morga, Morga ASMR. Um, and the reason this is, is because they are music ASMR trigger channels. And this is something I want to get back into because it was the initial goal of the channel and I, I genuinely think there's there's more to be said in that sort of sub-community as reddit would put it <laughs> of ASMR and it doesn't seem to be something a lot of people are looking for yet um, but they might want to um, I'll put the links there. I'll also put the link to the visual sounds, um, the 
first visual sounds video I found in the bathroom one, but I have a feeling that most people who are listening to this already know what that video is, and if you don't, well, oh well, there it is. Um, isn't much to be said, I think. And still I've managed to fill 16 minutes of my voice. So. It's really kind of spectacular. Think about it. There's this whole... I'm not even quite sure how this community can be called underground. It seems so massive, but it is, and so many people don't know about it. And in some way, I think that's what's so great, and what something of the appeal is, is because it is so massive, and there is so much encouragement, and somehow there still managed to, manages to be a little bit of drama, but it's all worth it anyway because there's something very quiet about it. Of course, it is a community based on quiet and how sound is reflected in the quiet, I suppose. And the fact that it's so very almost quiet and silent outside of the actual YouTube participation is very interesting as well. Sort of the correlation, I suppose, is part of the appeal, as I was saying. Sorry for there being so much dead space here. Just wonderful, really. <laughs> yeah, I, I just remember, it, it almost feels like yesterday, I just remember crawling into this community a year ago completely by accident and how everything sort of unravels in the course of a year is just spectacular to think about and it's almost it's really kind of disquieting really <laughs> uh yeah anyway at this point like i said and this is a thank you it's gratitude I want to thank all 160 of you. Um, I have had nine YouTube channels in my entire life, and I can guarantee that this is the most subscribers that have ever congregated to one location. And I can say in the aftermath of that that this is something I'll continue to work with. <laughs> because at this point it almost seems impossible to stop. Um, my own slow way, I suppose. <laughs> um, if I don't re respond to any of your comments, because it's not as if I've had a lot of comments, but there are several, I suppose, that I haven't responded to. I've read all of them, and it's been quite spectacular. Um, that seems to be the word of the day, I suppose. It's, um, it's been wonderful to read. It's been wonderful to hear all the encouragements. 
it's been wonderful to see how people who stuck out from the beginning still comment on new videos even six months later and uh yeah enjoy uh, the next year the community is going to be working in uh, your year of 2013 is going well and that will continue to go well and that by six months later I'll be reflecting on the first birthday of my channel and not necessarily just the community reflection that time, all of you have positive things to reflect on yourself. 